everybody welcome back to the channel i am joe usual and i'm going to share with you my five favorite ways repeatable ways of making money xp and level throughout this entire game I've, i'm at level 44 right now i have over half a million credits and these are the five repeatable ways i'm going to take you step by step from each way on how to make money in this game how to make levels in this game super fast super easy um, right now I am a level 44. Let me go ahead and show you. I'm a level 44 and I have 565,521 credits and that's after buying everything. This is just profit. Just sheer profit. Last night I was level 40. I made two. I made a level in 30 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna show this is that that's gonna be toward the end of the video, but I'm gonna show you that technique on how to make a, a, a level even at this level make a level every 30 to 40 minutes um, maybe an hour if you're not really pushing it, but if you need to make a level really quick, this is, I'm going to show you how to do that right away. Make a lot, a lot of money. So let's go ahead and start off. The first two are for early game, but I've been using this throughout my game. They're in neon, okay? The first two are in neon. So go to the neon sign right here in neon. If you don't know where neon is, let me go ahead and show you on the map. Neon, this is the star map right here. So it's in the volley system. It's volley, uh, so this volley, uh, what you, this is going to be, if this was north, south, this is if this was east, and this is west, go, from Alpha Centauri, it's going to be right here, it's going to be east, and a little southeast, it's going to be on volley alpha, and neon's right here, okay? All right. Right off the bat, you're going to want to go into neon, you want to go past security, make sure you don't have anything on you that's going to get you arrested, yet, we're about ready to get arrested, okay? This is early game, this is why you want to do this early game. Because this first one, it'll, you're going to lose a little bit of experience, but that's okay. Trust me, it's worth it. All right, once you get out of the elevator at the Dragon Hangar right, go all the way down until you reach the, uh, the Astro Lounge. And then at the Astro Lounge, you're going to want to go all the way to the back of the Astro Lounge to talk to the bartender. So go into the Astro Lounge, go right through here, go all the way to the back, and you're going to want to talk to the bartender. And then you're going you're gonna to have to go through some dialogue right here, but then say, can kind I of look at the menu, please? And go ahead and buy a single... Aurora, just one. Now, I'm. Oh, by the way, let me just stop and tell you right now, if you don't have your commerce skill leveled up, guys, if you don't have your commerce skill leveled up in social, get it leveled up as fast as possible. You buy for less, you sell for more, and all of your all of your missions, they give you more money every time that you uh, you do them. Okay, so that is my first tip. That's my tip. This is not one of the ways, but uh, but this is a tip. Make sure you're putting your points into commerce. You need to do that. Okay. So uh, absolutely, 100%. Um, if you don't, you're, you're just leaving money on the table. So anyway, you buy an Aurora, okay, from the bartender. Then go back out, and then go back to the ele the security. Or go back to the uh, the elevator, like you're going back to your ship. Don't fast travel. It won't let you fast travel with with Aurora in your pocket. Now, once you reach the spaceport terminal, go back in the elevator, and you're gonna want to go through security. You're gonna want to go through security, and you're gonna get arrested, because if you have Aurora and you go try to go through security no matter what you're gonna get arrested. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go. Okay Okay, and it's gonna say you can either pay the credits and Maybe you don't need to search me for contraband. So um, or you can pay the credit credits and you pay the fine Okay, um, you say or oh, don't worry. I'll go quietly look if you don't want to pay any credits Then just go quietly and they will arrest you and you'll go to jail for seven days now you're gonna lose some XP, okay? You're gonna lose some experience points. You're gonna be in jail for seven days. That's okay. We want to go to jail because this triggers the this tr will trigger a quest. Okay. Now you serve seven days in jail and 753 XP negative. Uh, well, by the way, I have the the, uh, the the I have parents, so I sent them I send them credits on a regular basis. Right here to the right of you, there is the contraband room. Okay. All of the contraband that you had on you, if you had contraband on you, will be in these boxes, okay? So, this right here, this is extra contraband. This is my first tip for making money on the regular. This contraband stash right here, this is, um, you're, you can go ahead and this will, this will re-up every so often in the security office. Let me show you where we're at. The Neon Security Office, right across from Gal Bank. And right across from the Terra Brew Coffee, okay? Spaceport's right over there. So as you come out of the spaceport, you're going to hang a right. And you're going to want to go to Neon Security Headquarters. Every so often, come back here and this, this contraband box will fill up. Now, the trick is this. you got to be stealthy. Now, you don't have to have any points in stealth. I don't have any points in stealth at all, okay? Jump over the box like this. 
You got to make sure your companion's with you, though. Your companion, yeah, your companion's got to be in the room with you. And and then what I do is I crouch, have them crouch. They got to be in. Well, she, yeah, bring Andrejo, Andrejo with you. She actually stealths whenever she crouches. She's really nice. But I do it with Sarah all the time. It's not a big deal. I don't know about the other ones. And then just go like this. Take it. Just wait. Those security guards cannot be looking at you. Okay. If you had any, any other contraband on you, it'll be in the seized cargo box. If you had anything stolen, it'll be in this locker, but, uh, but this locker uh, you'll have to pick. Okay? So anyway, at this point I stand up. I make sure that I'm not hearing them yell at me. And then I just simply walk out the door. Okay? Now this is the, fir this is the first tip. This is not that quest I was talking about. This is that first tip, though. So this is the very first repeatable quest... Or it's not even a quest. It's a repeatable thing that you can do. And then you go down here and you go down to the trade authority and you sell this stuff for profit. Now, the problem with the trade authority is that they don't have enough money. And let me show you this. Any contraband that you have, it's under miscellaneous and it's marked. It says, like, it says this one's worth 12290 This one is worth 15600 You're never going to get that. No matter what. And you can only sell this stuff at the trade authority. Okay? Um, so, you go here. Talk to this guy. You'll go through a bunch of different things. Um, and then you'll do business. And then you're going to go to uh, make sure you're in the right one. Sell so, miscellaneous. And then, so he's only going to give you between 2000 and 2500 Now, my commerce skill is up. So, I'm making more than what you will see. Okay? I have level four in commerce. So, I'm making more money. Than, um, than, you, than you will if you're just starting this. I'm going to go ahead and sell him. Okay, I, if I sell him all five of those, it's 12000 That's okay. You cannot leave this place until, well, you can't leave Neon until you sell all this contraband. Otherwise, you get arrested again. You don't want that. So I'm going to sell, I'm going to sell uh, four of these, confirm. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go sit down on this bench for two days. You got to sit down for two days or you can sleep on the bed. If you want to make more XP, you can sleep in a bed. Um, which you could, there's a hotel here, uh, the Volley Hotel. You can pit, you can get a room there. But I'm gonna wait for two days, and at the end of those two days, guys, you can go ahead and you can go go back to him. And that's how long it takes for vendors to reset. Okay, it takes two days. So we'll do business, and then we'll go ahead and sell miscellaneous. And he's got eleven thousand again. We sell him that, and then I'm gonna sell him. There we go. And now I just made a big fat profit. I made twenty grand off of this guy, twenty-two thousand almost in two in two days. Okay, so that's twenty-two thousand in two days. And this box will refresh itself every so often. I don't know if it's a week, two weeks, or a month, but I think it's every every week or two it'll reset. So when you come back to Neon, check that box and see if it's going to work. But let me go ahead and show you number two. Okay, so number two, once you've been arrested, you've actually triggered a quest and um, I've already done it. So you won't, I won't, you won't see him here, but there's going to be a guy. There's going to be a guy in this cell right here. All right, you'll see him this and this cell will be unlocked. All right, you're going to open up the door. You're going to talk to him. All right, this will start a quest line for you to uh, to go through, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but it's super easy, and then it'll it, it'll take you down to the liquor store eventually, and you're gonna talk to Yannick, okay, the Legrand Liquor Store right here. It's it, as you come out the spaceport, it's to the left, okay, and uh, it's on the right hand side. So you're gonna it'll, it'll take you to the Legrand Liquor Store, and you're gonna talk to Yannick. Now, once you finish this quest line, Yannick will uh, every so often in your in your activities menu. It'll say, ask Yannick about another shift at Xenofresh, okay? So what you'll do is, the repeatable quest is this, and I'm going to walk you through it. So you're going to go to Yannick. I'm ready for another Aurora run. What you do is, he takes Aurora, and he, turn, and he adds it to alcohol, and he makes a drink out of it. And so what he does is, you, you'll, every so often, this will refresh, and you'll go and you'll you'll you go back to Xenofresh. Now it's very important that you do not deviate from this quest. You could probably break it, but I'm going to show you how you do it without breaking it. All right, because I do it time and time and time again. I've been doing this the entire time. So what you go into, they're going to give you a Xenofresh clean suit. Don't sell this suit. I don't know that it's necessary, but at the very first they say put on the clean suit. Make sure you keep this suit. I keep this suit every time. I always put it on. 
And then what you'll do is I can to make this fast. It's called supply line. I go ahead and I activate this quest. So I have the uh, I have the, the quest marker and I can do this really fast. I can do this quest in five to six minutes. All right. So I'm you know, So what you'll do is you follow the pips. So follow the follow the pips to the Ebside elevator. Or it might take you to a different elevator. It's very possible it'll take you to a different elevator. But go to this elevator right here. Then you're going to go through here. You're going to hang a left. Then go to right. Then you're going to go here. I'm going to jump up and over. And dead ahead of you is this switch. Flip the switch. Go right here. Now, no matter what you do, it's going to say you have substandard um, uh, work. Okay, so I uh, so so grab. I just grab everything out of the box. Go right here. Hit E. Make a batch of unprocessed Aurora. Hit E again. Then I hit Escape to get out of it twice. Uh, you can do this really really fast. Once you get this down, it's really quick. I'm slowing down for you guys a lot. Then I go down here. Go R, and then Q, aid, drop it. Just click on it. Then go out. You get 400 credits for each one of these. You have to do this three separate times. Okay, so now you've made 1,200 credits because you've done this three times. Once you're done, your shift will be done. You go out the door and then go to the left, and you're going to actually wait for her to spawn in. There it is. This is a uh, Robbie. Another day, another shift. And you're going to talk to her. I have some coordinates for you. My bad. I wonder, what's over I wonder what's over there. And then just just click on I might have to check it out. If you do like you don't have to be secretive anymore. Uh, it freaks her out. So don't do anything but the top one. Okay. I mean, you could. You, I, I don't know what can I find a package or does. It might it might break the quest. So I'm not going to bother with that. Always. I might have to check it out or take care of Robbie. That way, she's your contact, and she's going to give you coordinates. You got to hurry now. You got to hurry. You got to run. All right. So, go out this door, and there's a reason why you got to hurry. Go left. Go left again directly. Now, right here at this fence, this game can hitch. Oh, these guys are in my way. These guys are in my way. So it might freeze me. Okay, it froze me. Just stop with your controls. Just let go until it unfreezes. There we go. Otherwise, you crash your game. All right. So, um, and then go down into this elevator right here. You gotta hurry. Come on, I'm. There we go. And because if you don't hurry, somebody else is gonna get the package. Okay, we'll go out here, go down the stairs. Come on. Go to the right, then go to the left, then go up these stairs, and hopefully this homeless person hasn't gotten this package. Sometimes there will people be people with guns. All right, we're good. So let me grab this. That's the Yannex package. There is a homeless person, and I don't know where she is. She might have gotten killed. Okay? If she's normally here, or she's here. She hangs out. If you, if you take too long, she will, uh, she will pick, this, uh, pick up the package, and you'll have to talk your way you'll, out of it. You'll have to talk to her and convince her to give it back to you. Now, if you don't convince her to, to give it back to you, it might break the quest, or it might put you into a different quest. I don't know. I've never had that problem. Um, I only have one. I, I didn't have any uh, social persuasion skill at the time. I do have persuasion now. I have one rank, but I don't. I didn't at the time. For the most part of my game, I haven't had persuasion at all. Don't worry about it. Just try to convince her. Hopefully, you can do it. Occasionally, there will be people with guns there. So, um, if I were you, I would just run, grab the package, run away. They don't chase you past this door right here. Then go ahead and deliver the package to Yannick, and that's when you get paid. All right. Yannick, and I have a delivery for you. And I can do this quest in like five to six minutes. And right now, so I mean, I make, I, with, my, with my commerce maxed out, I make 5,300 from him. Normally you make like uh, 2,500 if you don't have your commerce. So you can make up to 53 plus the 1,200. So that's 6,500 coin in five to six minutes. So it's 1,000 credits per minute for this quest. And it comes back about once a week. So that's my second that's my second tip for you. Okay, my third tip for you guys is the Al Alchemist Casino right here. It's in um, Olympus, the Olympus system. Let me go ahead and show you where we're at. So it's at the abandoned spaceport at Nisoy, 
and this is in uh, the, the Olympus system. So you, uh, it's going to be just northwest of Valois or southeast of Alpha Centauri, okay? You're going to go to the space station. And so this is going to be, you're going to have to fight a bunch of guys. This is a zero gravity fight. So, and this is a, this is a zero gravity casino. And there's going to be, there's going to be contraband here. There's going to be, a, there's going to be three safes here. There's going to be a jackpot combination that you're going to find. And so you're going to be able to get um, a one-time jackpot at the casino. You can get that money as well. Plus all the guns and all the, all the weapons from, and from the, uh, and all the loot from, and, from the uh, the guys you're fighting, plus some uh, some weapons boxes, and we're gonna show you how to do that right now. Now I've just cleared Olympus, so I don't know if it's respawned yet. If it has, uh, I'll have to fight these guys. If not, I'm just gonna walk you through where to find everything. So, and this will repeat once every seven days. Okay, now once you've docked. By the way, if you don't know about zero gravity fighting, this is one of the few plant times that you have zero gravity fight in this game. Um, any any ballistics weapons will blow you backwards whenever you fire them. So energy weapons are your friends, but I don't bother. Um, all, any of my quest, any of my uh, my companions, Andreja or Sarah, are the two I've brought in here. They all they both uh, like energy weapons, and so they and give them grenades. And wait, okay, we got spacers in here right now. So I'm gonna have to fight these spacers and to clear this out, so you can see. So it has respawned. It's been more than seven days since I've been here. So. Like I said, when you fight with um, when you fight with um, weapons, you can make sure your back's to a wall. Or if it's not, you're gonna get blown back. Or you can just hold back and let the let your companion do most of the work. Okay, once you've taken care of all the bad guys, uh, this center pole you, where the alarm is sounding. Um, this, uh, th I'm going to start at the bottom and work our way up. Okay. So at the bottom, there is a weapon box right here. I'm not going to loot the guys, cause, but you, but they have a great weapon. So there's a weapon case right there. And I think that's all there is on the bottom level. Then you go to the next level up, which is going to be the bar. And behind the bar, if I can get to it, it's anti-gravity. There's no gravity, so... You got uh, you got this this uh, container here. You got this container here. This cooler, and then you have this box right here. Okay. You go over here, and you go down right here. Okay. So the bar. Let me show you. The bar was right there, on this on this second level. You go in this this uh, little um, safe looking uh, thing. This is not a safe. There's a, a a box right here. You're gonna you're gonna go in here and. There's two things. There's a contraband box. Now you're gonna have to go to the den to get rid of this stuff, okay? Or unless you have shielded cargo and you know how to get, you have a favorite spot you'd like to get rid of yours. But there's uh, there's contraband in here always, and then there's a jackpot back end right here. Now there will be it'll it'll if you have the casino numbers for the jackpot, you can get this one time, the very first time. You can't get it after that. There is no, there's no way of getting it after that. Um, every, each time I come in here, but let me show you where to get the code. I mean the uh, jackpot numbers. So that's going to be on the next level up in the office. Okay, go up, and the office is right here. Oh, sounds like there's another person. It sounds like I missed somebody. Okay, once you've taken care of all the people, go into the office right here, and the computer is to the left. And the jackpot combination is right here, guys. If you don't want to do, if you don't want to mess with it, it's 12, 19, 36, 5. Okay, it didn't change. All right, that is the jackpot winning numbers. 12, 19, 36, 5. All right, so once you're in the office, you got a couple other things. You got a box in the back here. You got a, it's a, a science crate. It's going to have some loot in it. You're going to have three safes. All right, so you're going to have a master safe. You're going to have a novice safe. And you're going to have a advanced safe. So if you don't have your your uh, your safe, lock picking skills up, get your lock picking skills up. So for all the money making stuff in the world, your lock picking skills and your commerce are your two best things to have. Absolutely. Now I'm not going to I'm not going to pick these locks because I don't care uh, right now. But uh, but yeah. So there's going to be a lot of good loot in here. There'll be money. There'll be weapons. There'll be uh, different uh, components and whatnot in here. So you're going to want to pick these three safes. So that is the casino. 
Guys, uh, make sure you loot everybody on the way out. And let me show you the way out, by the way. Speaking of the way out, you got to go through this corridor, this glass corridor right here. And it took me a minute. When you're in here, you get turned around. You get confused. Sometimes you don't know how to get out. Let me show you how to get out. Okay, you go, go up, and it will say exit. Where is it? Where is it? Go over here. Go down a level from the from the office. Go to the where it says exit. This is where you came in. Okay. Face the wall there. Go up in the middle. And then you can either go out the right-hand side or the left-hand side. It doesn't really matter. Both of these will take you to the corridor. And then you go out and you go back to your ship. All right. So that's the, that's the third way of making money in this game. This resets every week, every seven days in game okay okay don't forget once you leave olympus you're going to want to go ahead and you're going to want to go uh northeast here of uh, office and and go to wolf because you have contraband on you and you're going to want to go to the den all right we're already at the station and what you're going to do is once you're at the den you're going to talk to the uh you're going to talk to the trade authority that's there we're going to go ahead i've already sold my things so we're and we're but we're going to go ahead and go forward out of your ship go up here go to the left and you're going to be able to talk to this guy and you're going to be able to sell your, your items to him. Now, some people were saying, I, I couldn't sell to him. I don't know what's going on with, with, your, with your game. If, you're, if you can't sell to him, you should be able to. Matter of fact, I just sold him my mech components and stolen artwork. All right. He's got zero money because it's all mine now. I have 600000 at the moment. And we just that's just from the beginning of me starting this video. Okay. So the fourth way of making your money is the super important way of making your money. This is the fastest way of turning and burning. Um, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, I'm gonna go back to my base, which I actually have a base on Jemison. And I actually, uh, I have a mission board built on my base at Jemison. So it, it, fa it faces me when I first spawn in. The fourth way is missions, guys. This is how I make levels in 30 minutes. All right, so let me go ahead and even at level 40, I'm making a level every 30 to 40 minutes at the most. All right, I'm going to go to my outpost and then I'm going to, when I spawn in, I have placed my mission board to where it is right next to me when I, when I spawn in. And this is how I turn and burn missions. And now it'll give me, you know, delivery missions and it'll give me Crimson Fleet missions. Now I have a big ship, but that, but you don't need a big ship. You can use a class A ship so long as you trick it out with, um, with guns you should be fine. I used to do it all the time. See, my mission board is right here. As I spawn in, I just go to my mission board and I gather my missions. All right, right now, I don't, I'm going to sleep for two days because this mission board has been wiped. Yes, last night, I, got, uh, I, got, I, I was turning and burning missions for an hour and it was only giving me Crimson Fleet missions at that point. Let me go ahead and sleep for two days. Let me see if it'll refresh the board and then I'll go from there, okay? All right. Okay, I've slept for two days, and just as a side note before we get into this, Andreja, guys, she give, she is uh, my favorite companion to take on quests right now, right now because every so often, so you have anything of interest for me, she gives you money, guys. She gives you between 300 to 500 credits each and every time. She gave me 330 this time. I've gotten almost 600 credits from her. And so to check with her on a, per on a periodic basis so she can give you things. Sarah gives you sticks. She gives you leaves. She gives you seeds. It's not useful. The seeds, you can't plant the seeds. Uh, I'm going to do a, a horticulture um, video for, uh, for animals and plants, uh, animal and plant materials here coming up in the next day or two. But, um, but Andreja is my favorite because she gives you money. All right, so anyway, like I said, if you can go ahead and you, uh, let's see, go, I'm going to go into my, my, um, my outpost builder. Okay, under the mi miscellaneous section of your outpost builder, you're going to go down and you're going to find the mission board, okay? What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, when you spawn in, just open that up, get the mission board, and then you're going to want to put the mission board right in front of you for when you spawn in. This is how you're going to burn, turn and burn missions super quick, okay? This is number four. So you, I'm going to go to mission board right now and then, okay, so it's refresh. Okay, this is refreshed. So now I've got destroy crimson fleet. I'm going to accept that. Uh, now, I don't do any of the kill the pirate rover ones because you have to drop down to a planet. It's a waste of my time. Uh, deliver choice meat cuts. Sure. You betcha. Deliver parcels. Absolutely. I will deliver parcels if it'll let me. I don't have space on my ship for this cargo. 
All right, so make sure you have space. Oh, it's 1,600 kilograms. That's why. That's fine. We're going to come back and grab that right away. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get out of it. I'm going to go, I'm going to hit L to get into my missions. I'm going to go deliver choice cut meats. And I'm going to hit R. And it will take me directly to the planet. I'm going to go to land. And it will take me directly to the planet. If you've already been to the planet, you can fast travel, right? So it's super quick. I'll be able to land, drop this off. I'll get my money all within like 30 seconds. There are always credits to be made from mining. Even and there it is. To, for me, it's 2,180, and I got my XP for it. Super easy, super, super quick. And then I'm going to go L. I'm going to go, and then I'm going to mouse. You have to mouse over it. You don't have to click on it. Just mouse over it. Hit R. Now I'm going to go fight the Crimson Fleet. I'm going to jump. And it won't take me to the Crimson Fleet immediately. I'm going to have to find them, but that's super easy. Immediately, I hit L, so I don't have to deal with anybody in this part of the system. Mouse over it again. Hit R. Then go, you can hit X to travel again. And now I'm going to travel in the system to the Crimson Fleet, and I'm going to kill the Crimson Fleet. Now, there's only one, so it's super easy for me. I'm just going to go ahead, and I'm just going to kill this guy. And then, there we go. That was it. There's my money. And if you want to go ahead and you want to, um, if you want to take the time, you can go over here and you can get that little floaty right there. I've got there's 1,600 extra credits, two reactive gauges, ship parts. You just gotta you just gotta mouse over it and hit E to uh, to to. And sometimes you'll have to chase it. But and if there's multiples, you can sometimes double or triple your money. Uh, that you get from the, from the quest line. Now I'm slowing down ex extremely, just so you, you guys know what uh, what to do. Okay, I would be doing this so much faster. It's not even funny. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit I'm going to hit tab. I'm going to go to my star map. I'm going to hit tab twice to get out. I'm going to go back to my I'm going to go back to my base. Okay, guys. So I'm going to do a quick turn and burn. We're going to show you a remission board right here. And so I've got uh, destroy Crimson Fleet, accept, destroy Crimson Fleet, accept, transport settlers, accept. All right, so I'm not going to kill any pirate rovers or corsairs because you have to go down to a planet. Like I said, it's a waste of your time. Hit L, go to R, go to transport settlers and click or, and, and hit R again. It, uh, it's hit course to, for uh, Porama 2C, yes. Now, I have never been to Porama 2C, so I'm going to have to jump there. So that, but normally it would let me land, so that's okay. It's only going to take me a second. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit L. I'm going to hit go up, go up here, hit R. And then I'm going to land civilian outpost. Now, this is something you're going to want to realize. Sometimes it won't put you directly where you need to be. It'll put you, there's going to be two locations. And sometimes it'll put you in the wrong location. We're going to see if this is the right location. But it might not be the right location. If it is, that's if it's not, that's okay. It might take you just a second longer. And I'm going to go to L right quick. I'm going to go here, I'm going to go R, and I'm going to look at this. I'm going to see right quick. You see, it, it put me at the landing area, not the civilian outpost. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the civilian outpost, and I'm going to travel there now. And then we're going to have, and then it'll drop these guys off. Sometimes it won't put you directly where you need to be. So now we're at the civilian outpost, now I got paid. Now it took me a minute, us a minute to figure that out, but once you realize that that is a the uh, thing that they do for civilians and for miners sometimes, um, you, you you'll know, you'll recognize it and you'll speed you up because uh, so it took me a long time to figure out well why why am I not getting paid why are my settlers not going off my why can I not finish this quest that's why all right so now that we get in that we're gonna hit L we're gonna go mouse over this we're gonna go R and we're gonna go ahead and jump to the Crimson Fleet like I said. Whenever you do the Crimson Fleet missions, you're always going to go into the system, and then you're going to go and hit L, mouse over, hit R, travel, and then, and then you're going to have to find them. So now you're going to travel and find them. So you're always going to jump into the system. You're going to have to jump to a planet, okay? And then you're going to fight them. Now, there will be probably occasionally a... Uh, there's only one guy here. I'm just going to kill him. Um, so, and that quick... Where's his things? Where are his things? Uh, where are his things? Where are his stuff? There it is. There it is. All right. So um, 
Occasionally, when you jump into a system, there will be a random event. All right, so in, if you if it's a fight, be careful. If it's two factions fighting against each other, you if you hit the wrong one, you can get a bounty. All right, there, there's all kinds of different uh, random events that you can get in this. Um, like I said, I'm slowing down considerably just so I can explain this to you guys. Uh, this is my turn and burn. This is how I make my, my levels in less than 30 minutes. Um, when you Once you get it down, it is super quick. I'm jumping to the next Crimson Fleet, by the way. And, uh, you know, I, I, I have enough power that I can grab jump super quick. Um, even at one grab power, um, it takes seven seconds to jump. So it's not a big deal. Okay, I, let's see, do I have an event? I don't really care. I'm going to L. I'm going to R. I usually just bypass those events if I can because it's not worth my time. Now, if it is just if it is pirates or it's coyotes, um, sometimes there's coyote pirates, it might be worth your time to kill them. And Okay, I got two people here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take it'll take me a little bit longer to kill these guys. I try to conserve my uh, my 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 weapons if there's more than one enemy because I don't want to run out of juice. Okay. I've got more than, this is a warship, I've got more than enough juice to take care of it. But if you're in a Class A ship, you got to be careful if you have multiple ships, because, um, because you might run out of juice. Okay, he's, he's being, this fan, these phantoms are sometimes sneaky. They, they go all the way out, and then they come all the way back. But that's okay, we're done. That was only two ships, I should get paid. Okay, now, here's an example of, I did, you didn't see any credits pop up at the end. That's because the quest was for... Um, the quest was for a, uh, a certain ship. I got paid before I killed that last ship. I got my experience points before I killed that last ship. So be aware, if you don't think you're getting paid for this, you are getting paid. Make sure you keep track of how much credits you've got. And, um, and so you are getting paid. All right. Now, if, I have, if I'm trying to turn and burn, a lot of times I don't bother with this excess uh, loot. Okay? Because I'm going for experience points. I'm not necessarily going for the uh, the extra money and the components all right if you want to that's fine you can but I'm not gonna worry about that too much so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tab oh, I'm gonna tab I'm gonna go to star map I'm gonna double tap to get out and I'm gonna go right back to Alpha Centauri I'm gonna go right back to whoops if I don't have sausage fingers and then I'm gonna go right back to my base we're gonna land and then I'm gonna get a new set of, um, of Missions. So, like I said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and run a, run one one turn and burn right now, just so I can show you. And I'm not gonna even explain anything. I'm just gonna since I already did it. All right. Well, it doesn't really it looks like I I don't have much here. So, and as you do more, this will become less, and eventually it'll just be destroy Crimson Fleet that you're gonna be able to do. But that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and go out. L. I'm gonna deliver these inhibitors at the Wagner Farm. And the loading screen is the longest time. It really is. And I should get paid. There we go. Crimson Fleet, here we come. Okay, there's, any, there's a long sword except. So, I don't have to do that. Leave this orbit immediately. Okay, so you know, we're going to go ahead and say, okay, I'm leaving. And then, Crimson Fleet, here I come. Like I said, random events. That was Tolman too, though, I think. Uh, Tolman uh, is, uh, is uh, off limits. All right, we've got four guys here, guys. This is going to be... And this will lead me into my... This will lead me into my um, my fifth one, which is uh, capturing ships. So you, you, when you capture a ship, it has to be the last ship that you kill. And um, now, ideally, you want the largest ship, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, just, for, uh, just for tutorial's sake, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to kill this guy. And but you cannot board a ship if it is um, if it, if you have other ships in that you're fighting. Oh, this guy's going to be a pain in my butt. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to you got to get rid of. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit R once you're trying, and then I'm going to have to get. I'm going to take out their engines. We're going after their engines. I don't know if I can wait. There it is. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna back out. I'm gonna hit R, R to dock. Now we're gonna dock on. I don't know if that made sense. That was really fast. You have to. You have to hit R, then hit the Alt button and move over to target their engines. 
Okay? Now, to do that, you need targeting control systems, guys. You need at least one rank in targeting control systems to be able to, uh, to target uh, a ship's functionality. If you don't have that, you can't target ships. So that is the one perk that you absolutely need to do to capture ships. I don't have anything else. You could do that. It will. Uh, this will reduce uh, uh, the lock-on time, um, and you know, d with depending on the rank you have. But I don't bother with that. I only have one rank in this. That's all you need. Okay. So anyway, you hit you hit R to target them. Then you target their engines. You take out their engines, and when you're cl so long as you're close enough, then you uh, hold down R to dock. Once you're docked, you have to get on board and you have to kill everybody. Okay? So let's go ahead and we're going to get on board. I'm going to kill everybody. This is a small ship, so it shouldn't take me very long. I'm going to have somebody in here and, and I'm going to be a target. This is a tiny ship. So it should only be two or three people. That took a little bit more than I thought it was going to take. That's okay. All right, so we've got... These guys here, now what will happen, guys, is I've got a gigantic ship with thousands of cargo in it, right? Um, what will happen is no matter what ship you gather, whatever, no matter what ship you take, um, you're go it will transfer all of the stuff in your cargo over to this cargo because this will become your home ship. It, it's fine. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to explain why in a minute. Um, because you're going to transfer back over to your other ship here momentarily. So, um... Somewhere on every ship, there is contraband. Almost almost every single time. Now, I have gone and I have looked in ships and not found it. Now, if you if you use your scanner, the chances of you finding uh, the stuff is going to be pretty good. But this is a really tiny ship, so I don't know where their contraband is. But it should be laying out or in a box, but I don't see it. So there may not be any, but there should be between one to five contraband uh, boxes on the on a ship okay this is a tiny ship and i don't see the contraband it could be anything um but you need to find it if you don't and you try to get and you try to fly this ship in, into uh into a faction it's they're gonna you're gonna get arrested okay but there's a way around that if you don't think you want to mess with it or you and you don't think you uh you want to deal with it that's okay i'm going to show you how you can get around the contraband if you don't want to deal with it but first of all, you're going to want you're going to want to get into the cargo hold and grab everything in the cargo. Uh, this is the captain's locker, and then everything in the cargo hold. Oh, here it is. Here's a cargo hold, 36, uh, 3,400 credits, and a, and a and a wafer. All right. So uh, you want to get the captain's locker. You want to get the uh, you want to get what's in the cargo hold, and you want to find all the contraband. Okay. And then loot everything if you want to loot everything. I'm not going to bother. This is only tutorial, so I'm just you know I'm just going to show you. Then you get into the pilot seat. And this tiny, tiny ship will hold all my cargo. I've got thousands of cargo right now. We're going to undock. And then what will happen is we're going to go, actually, we're going to make way for the den. We're going to go to the den, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and hit tab. We're going to go to star map. I'm going to go, and we're going to make way for the den, which is right here, or in the or wolf system. And as soon as I as soon as I make way for the den, this will become my home ship. There it goes, top right hand side of the screen. It's now your home ship, and all my all my cargo is on, um, is on this ship now. Which means the uh, my ship parts are on here. So I'm gonna hit O. I'm gonna tap O, and I'm gonna fix the hull on this ship. Okay, because if I hit something and I destroy it, then I lose everything. Okay. Well, I won't. I'll die, and I'll just re, I'll reset. But it's fine. Anyway, I fix the hull. You want to fix it all the way. Whoops. You want to fix it all the way because you can't you can't register a ship if it's got a broken hull. You have to register the ship. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm, and I need to put some uh, money, uh, some energy into grab drive. So let me put some uh, take some out of lasers. Hold down the tab button and then use the A and D keys. Okay, and use the use the D uh, the D key. Go, and then go over and grab drive. Now I've got jump, and it'll take me to wolf. If that wasn't self-explain, if I didn't explain that well, I'm sorry. The WASD keys are how you how you move your 
you a lot your energy and your on your on your different things on your ship your lasers your missiles your your whatnot your engine your shield your grab drive you got to hold down the alt button to do that so we're gonna go to the den hail the den now the den doesn't care if you have contraband right so it's fine so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna board the den I've already fixed the uh, I've already fixed the 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 hull because I have ship parts and I fixed the hull and then I'm gonna go to this this technician right now and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna say I want to view and modify my ships now this ship is worth six thousand six hundred and eighty nine I want to I'm gonna register it because I'm gonna want to sell it later and you're always gonna make a profit it may not be very much but you're always gonna make a profit this is a tiny ship and so I'm gonna register it it's gonna cost me five thousand six hundred twenty five to register it the value is 6,600, so I'm only gonna make 1,000 on this ship. This is my least favorite way of making money because it takes too damn long, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and confirm, and now I've, I've, upgraded, I've, I've registered the ship. Now, I'm gonna switch out to, the, to my home ship. I'm gonna make this my home ship. Now, if there was any contraband on that other ship, it is no, no longer your problem. You can sell that ship with contraband on it. You just can't go into a system with contraband on it. You see what I'm saying? So you, you, you just want to switch to your home ship right now, just in case you missed something. Um, and if you have the contraband, you can, you know, if you found some contraband, you can sell it here at Wolf. But always switch your ship out because then it's in your inventory. You're not flying it, okay? Then you can take it back to a, a you can't sell your ship here. So, and now that you made it to your favorite uh, port, just go over to the technician and then say, uh, so let me see what ships you have for sale. And then you go ahead and you go down to the uh, sell button. And then you just mount, you just uh, you you just go over to the to the ship you just got, which was the ghost, and you go ahead and you say sell, enter. It says uh, you sell it for six thousand six hundred eighty nine credits. Confirm. Even if it had contraband on it, you, uh, it oh, by the way I had a phantom. I'm going to sell that one too, because uh, I had that one from before. For that was eleven thousand um, uh, one hundred eighty two for a phantom. The larger the ship, the more it's worth. Make sure you're hitting the sell button, not the buy button. Otherwise, it's going to get you in trouble. Alrighty, guys. Well, just in making this tutorial video, I have 648,668. So I believe I made almost 100,000 credits just from this tutorial. And so that's how fast you can make money in this game. And like I said, when you turn and burn, you're going to be leveling super, super quick. Right now, I am... Um, just by making this video, I got a, a half of a level and I was doing, I was going super slow. I did other things. So, uh, at level 44. So trust me, even at level 44, you're going to be able to level super quick. You're going to be able to make a lot of money super fast guys. And so this game is not slow at higher levels. If you do it the right way, if you are having trouble leveling, if you are having trouble making money, these are the ways that you're going to make money experience points and levels super fast. Those are my five top tips those are the things i do constantly in this game and also andreja she will give you money on a regular basis make sure you check back with her um uh, consistently because as you jump from system to system and you come from planet to planet she will uh, have money for you let me see if she has more money for me now yeah boop hey 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 look at this you have anything of interest for me and look at that 429 credits so she gave me almost 800 credits just for, uh, just in, in making this video, guys. Okay, well, I hopefully that helped you out, guys. If it did, give us a thumbs up. And if, oh, okay, my God. And if I've earned your subscription, don't forget to hit that bell icon for notifications. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.